George Rambler Man here. It's uh, Monday morning, July the 9th, day two of the hoot, day two or three, if you count Saturday. Had a good morning. Everybody, everybody had breakfast. We decided on our route. We're going up to going up to uh, Vermont today. Make sure we stop in and see Bernie and get some free stuff. And then looping back through New Hampshire. Tomorrow we're going to hit the main coast. Wednesday we'll head to Lake Placid. Uh, just a just a great week. It's going to be another great day. It's almost going to be 90 today. It's going to be pretty warm. But uh, got my new Indian riding shirt here. It's kind of that w w uh, sweat wicking material that uh, should be pretty comfortable. Keep the sun off my arms, so Stoney will be proud of me. And we're ready to go. So let's get this ride started. Let's crank up the old Indian here. Got 196 miles of range here. Actually, it's more than that. But that's what it's reading right now. All right, we are off. Day two of the hoot, Vermont, here we come. Riding through downtown Lincoln, New Hampshire. It's pretty much a touristy town. Fairly nice. Okay, we just uh, turned west on Highway 118. We're west of Lincoln, kind of headed west. Just entering the White Mountain National Forest. Still, we're out in the woods, it's a nice sh shady road. bigger group today with the addition of the Hucks. Beautiful morning weather-wise. What a beautiful road. Uh, curvy, twisty road. Lots of motorcycles out today, as you can see. Just cruising through the White Mountain National Forest, beautiful state of New Hampshire. We're on Highway 25 going east. We just uh, left leave it at Wentworth, New Hampshire. And I'm not really sure of the destination, but uh, beautiful out here. They have a lot of signs out here about moose. Look out for moose. Moose crossings and, uh, you know, signs about all these collisions with moose. It always does uh, concern me a little bit, being out in the country is <laughs> that type of thing. You know, pretty much in sixth gear, when you're up about 60, 65 miles an hour, you're cruising along about 2500 RPM on this bad boy. Very, very smooth. But I'll tell you a little interesting thing that happened uh, this morning. It's Mr. Orvis here. Doesn't seem to be keeping pace. Interesting thing this morning, I got up early. Thought I'll just go get some gas in the motorcycle here before everybody gets up and going. And I got out and cranked up the motorcycle and put it in first and took off and as I was shifting into second it didn't quite go into second all the way kind of lugged a little bit and I was able to get it into second gear and I don't know if it was just cold or maybe I was a little bit cold it didn't shift firmly enough but I got on down to the gas station and I pulled in I noticed the check engine light was on I thought oh no <laughs> please not a uh, not a problem with the motorcycle while I'm out uh, on this trip you know, I did pay an extra like nine dollars a day for roadside assistance if I, you know, break down on the side of the road. But anyway, I, I filled it up with gas, went back to the hotel, and uh, shut it off and shut the, you know, cut it back on. The check engine light is still on. And I'm going, oh no. 
And finally, I, I shut the engine off and on a couple of times and took it around the block, you know, shifting through the gears very smoothly. It seemed to be running fine. And I got back to the hotel, the engine light was off. And uh, John Parsons, Happy Jack, was pulling up. He was going out to get him some gas as well. He was pulling up. And I told him about it. And he had uh, test ridden an Indian Springfield at Mom's down in uh, Foxborough, Massachusetts, a, a few months ago, a few weeks ago. I don't know exactly when. But he said the same thing happened to him. The check engine light came on. And the mechanic at, at Mom's told him that if you don't, if you like miss a gear or you. you have a hard shift or something like that it will cause the check engine light to come on if you don't complete the complete the gear change smoothly now why i don't know and he says it it, it, it will reset itself after a while and that's what it did here and it's, it's fine now so you know, it gives you a little funny feeling in the pit of your stomach if you think you're paying all this money for a rental motorcycle and you're kind of out away from the rental facility and you've got a problem with the bike. But, uh, over the years of my business travel, I have had a few rental car problems and uh, it's just not any fun. Anyway, the bike's running smoothly now. Not a problem. In sixth gear, 60 miles an hour. Kind of going up a hill as we come into Rumney Village, New Hampshire. It's at 2350 RPM. I could probably actually be in fifth. If I do shift down to 5th, it goes to 2650 RPM. Like I said before, one of the things I do like about this uh, Springfield, and also the, like the new Heritage motorcycles and soft tails with uh, Harley, the little portion of the display, the LCD part that I'm pointing to right now, my finger, is much bigger than the old Harleys, where it's a, and my Suzuki, where it's a very small little strip, and you kind of have to look close to see what you know you know trip odometers and things like that but this is very easy to see it's it's bright it's big you know the gear indicator is always to the left you, you know you don't have to toggle through anything to get the gear indicator it's always there uh, and it's very just very convenient I, I'm really getting used to having this gear indicator and I like it we're near Wellington State Park I don't know if this lake is Lake Wellington but uh, beautiful as you can see on this uh, summer Monday quite a bit of activity out there mountains lakes great country we live in okay it's uh, 426 in the afternoon we're in st. Johnsbury Vermont took a Dunkin Donuts break coffee break a gas up break and uh, we're headed back to the hotel Wrap it up a little bit earlier today than we did yesterday. Patrick Orvis seems to be the long pole in the tent over there. And off we go over the St. Johnsbury Memorial Bridge. After a nice uh, Dunkin' Donuts and gas break, it is hot today in Vermont and New Hampshire. And we are in Vermont. And we've had some great country roads to ride on. But unfortunately, we've had a lot of slow cars and trucks impeding our progress today. Still been a good day, though. Had a great lunch. I don't remember the town. I don't remember the name of the restaurant. <clears throat> It'll come to me soon. But we rode up uh, kind of north out of... Uh, well, first west out of Lincoln, then north up into New Hampshire and eventually into Vermont and uh, just had some great country roads rode, rode along the Connecticut River which is very scenic past a lot of rolling hills and countryside farms just uh, the best that rural America has to offer all right we're gonna turn left Get on Interstate 93. Head for Lincoln. Made some pretty tight turns on this uh, this week, and I have not scraped the floorboards not even once. So it has pretty good clearance. Stock exhaust on this motorcycle. It's, it's a 
nice low rumble, not at all obnoxiously loud on a long trip. It would not bother you. You would, have to, you would not have to wear earplugs, I don't think. Gas mileage, I've been getting about 30, between 35 and 40 miles to the gallon, which I think is pretty good. And uh, on an interstate like this in sixth gear, it just uh, purrs like a kitten and cruises along. Well, it's been another good day of riding with the fellows at the Hoot. Mike, it was nice to meet you. Payne's rides. We'll get together again sometime soon and ride again. He had to go on back to Connecticut today. I think maybe tomorrow. Freedom Rider and Riding Country will be joining us. Or maybe it's Wednesday, I'm not sure. Looking forward to seeing those two guys. Scott Wilson, Tex Rider, from North Bay, Ontario, is riding down from Canada. Venus in Lake Placid, looking forward to seeing Scott again. Scotty, we had a great group. This year you're going to enjoy riding with us. Beautiful day, a little bit warm. Looking out for moose here. Another great day to be alive, great day to be on two wheels with a super bunch of friends. Take care, everybody. This is George Ramelman. Everybody have a great week.